Hey guys, Ball Control here, and today I'm going to go through my top 5 cards from Kobolds and Catacombs. So, at number 1 we have Dustbreaker. Now, you've probably heard a lot about this card already from other reviewers. 4 mana, 3-3. Three, three. If you're holding a dragon, deal 3 damage to all other minions. Now, Hellfire, as you know, 4 mana, deal 3 to all characters. That's just a card. That card has seen play in every Warlock deck, every Control Warlock deck since the beginning of time, or Hearthstone. And this card has a 3-3 body attached to it, so not only will you swing the board, there's a lot of 3 HP minions around. If you think about a deck like Tempo Rogue, it's all the minions for 3 mana are 3-3s, three and then you get to eat up the 1-drops and the 2-drops as well. This is the exact thing that Dragon Priest needed to beat up aggro. Previously, Dragon Priest was strong against um, Priest and Druid, but weak to aggro, and this can help Dragon Priest solve that issue and maybe rise to the top of the metagame. At number 2 we have Psychic Scream. Now this is a 7 mana board clear, shuffle all minions into your opponent's deck. Now in a vacuum, say you're playing Control Priest before the Raza plus Anduin combo existed, this card might not be too good. Often games go to Fatigue as Control Priest um, previously and maybe going to Fatigue this card would be bad. But this, th but with the Raza Anduin combo being a win condition on say turn 10 or 11, all you need to do is make it to that turn and the Psychic Scream really helps you get there. Also, you can shuffle cards like um, Spreading Plague and Living Mana into your opponent's deck and they really don't want to draw these, these one-off cards that normally come from spells. It makes their card draw quality a lot worse, so this is just going to help you store for your combo and make your opponent's deck quality worse. So definitely an amazing card and that's why we've put it at number two. So next up at number three, we have Kobold Librarian. Now this is a one mana two one, draw a card. Just on the face of that card, if we compare it to other cards in the game, Novice Engineer, 2 mana, 2 mana, 1-1, one, one, that's worth stats, and 1 mana more. We've got Loot Hoarder, it's a 2 mana, 2-1, two, and that sees a lot of play. This card is just a whole mana cheaper, so 50% off, and the only downside is you take 2 damage to your hero, and in a deck like Zoo, you don't really care too much about the, the damage taken to your hero, you care more about board, and this card is going to help you win board as a 2-1 body, and it's going to help you win in the card advantage, and having more cards means you get more decisions, able to play on curve better in future turns, it's just a really, really powerful effect for its, um, for its mana cost. At number 4, we have a 4 mana card, Quarter Arms. This recruits 3 minions that cost 2 or less from your deck, so again, a ridiculously strong card here. You summon three minions from your deck for two mana. So say you summon three two mana guys, that's six mana worth of cards and you only played four mana. This also, importantly, makes your deck quality better in terms of top decks. If you recruit three minions from your from your deck that are cheap, you're obviously going to be drawing the more expensive cards more often. And this card can be used in multiple archetypes. So in Murloc Paladin, you just play this, summon three Murlocs on board, suddenly your War Leader in hand, your Megasaur, your Tarim, they're all way, way, way more powerful. And your opponent's really going to struggle to deal with the onslaught of Murlocs you put on board. You could also play this in a Control Paladin deck. Imagine pulling Dirty Rat, a 2 mana 2 6 Torn, and a Doomsayer. Your Doomsayer is suddenly completely protected. It's very difficult for your opponent to push through the Dirty Rat and then kill the Doomsayer, that'll be a 13 damage amount they need to kill that, and this can just maybe make Control Pound and Murloc Paladin rise just that slightly bit higher up in the metagame. So first up, we have Spiteful Summoner. Now, this on the face of it might not look particularly powerful. You reveal a random spell from your deck and you summon a minion from the same cost, but what you can do with this card is you can build certain archetypes, certain decks, completely around it. So what you can do in Hunter is you can build an only minion deck and just have Call of the Wild. So that's a 9 drop you'll get with this 6 mass spell. So we're talking about Sleepy Dragon, one of the new cards released, Ysera, just an 8-8 body from Alex Straza or Nixia. So something a 4-4 plus an 8-8 for 6 mana is an incredibly a powerful effect. Also in Paladin, you could play this and then you get Spike with Steed, you could even play Dino Size. Six drops and eight drops, they're incredibly powerful as well. So we're talking about a power level of six mana card, which can produce nine drops, so you're gaining a three mana tempo swing potentially with this card. And I think that by itself, this card can make whole new decks be made in the metagame.